Hey guys, it's LG. I'm back here for part, I believe, 9 of my uh, playthrough of Pokemon, um, uh, Pokemon Sword. As you can see, I got, uh, got headphones in. Hopefully, this way I can hear audio and you guys should be able to hear audio. The audio I'm hearing is not exactly the greatest quality. I hear a constant hum, but so far it should lead to a better experience than nothing anyway. We're about to pull up to hop right now. Just take a look at that. Uh, what? The state oh, was at the gym. Yep, where we we ran into the uh, the grass guy. My Milo, right? Milo notice. Okay, but the place is jam packed with challengers. It'll be ages before our turn comes up. So how are we gonna pass the time? Sonia was looking for me. Uh, she always is. <laughs> she wanted me to ask you something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. Sounds about right. She's up on what's her face hill. You know the one. No, I don't. You don't know the hill. I've looked at your map. All right, Bow Wow. <laughs> oh, hi, Amper. Are you Sonia's Amp? Yep, it is. He's a good boy. <laughs> well, I guess that answers the uh, the question in the title of uh, episode two. He'll show you the way. Ah, oh, thank you, Amper. Can I heal my Pokemon first, Amper? Please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Amper is a good boy. He lets me heal my Pokemon and everything. Okay. Let's see what this guy has. All companies are owned by Mr. Rose. That's not good. We escaped from... And my little chase... Nothing out of the ordinary around here. Oh no. Maybe it's time we come up with some sort of souvenir-based geoglyph. Maybe a geoglyph jam or something? Alright. <laughs> oh, what's over here? You don't take care of your equipment. It can fail when you really... Yeah, that that's true. What is what is this way? It's not stopping me. Oh, wait, there's an item. And, uh, trash. Uh, oh, is this guy gonna stop me? Just as I said that. Team Yell caused quite the kerfuffle, and now the bridge is out of it. This bridge right here? Out of state. You're out of your mind. Could you get, yeah. And then what, what's this? Like a huge stone just in the way. Can, can we surf? Can we use strength? Uh, this... I, so many questions. I can't believe I. Oh, there's an. There's more stuff down here. Okay, and then you, we can go up. No, we can't go up. Bro, this this is just as much an Everstone. That's uh, that might come into play later, uh, competitive wise. But oh, there's a TM. What is this? Brutal sling. Okay. Not the worst uh, TM I've found. But not the best. That would probably be facade. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, like, I can't believe I'm only... Like, I haven't even got my first badge yet. It's been a week since the game is out. Most of my friends and stuff already beat the game. So I could go down. Uh, should we go down or should we see Amper? We can we can see Amper at any time. Let's see what... Uh, fluff, fluff... Oh, there's what's his name. Milo does more than just work the field. He raises beautiful flowers, too. Oh. Five will gather around you. Okay. Now we can still go down. There's an item. What? what? Click it? Max. Nice. Not even first badge, and we're picking up Max Revives. This, this game is something else. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do down here, because... Yeah. They have to wait to turn. Yep. Okay. So, now we can go see what good boy Yamper... And bad girl Sonia <laughs> got going on. Okay. Bokwark. Oh, Bowwark. <laughs> the first time I saw that, I thought it said Bokwark. If you have seen it before, you should really check the amazing scenery. Bro, I can't wait. This game is beautiful. I can't wait to see the scenery. Guess what happened again? I don't even know how much got cut out. I know it recorded seven minutes, then stopped. I have no idea what... I don't even think I, w I got like into the town. Like, I don't think I saw any of that cutscene with Sonia explaining the the monolith or whatever geoglyph. I don't think any of that got recorded. And the thing is, I can't check while I'm playing, obviously. So I had no way of knowing. And I defeated the grass gym. I defeated Milo. I, I can't I couldn't make this up if I tried. I'm I'm just so speechless. Like I 
I almost want to just stop this playthrough because it's so I've ha I've had so many problems and it just isn't stopping every time it's one step forward and two back and I actually missed the first like the most important thing so far my first gym battle completely cut out I've never felt so dejected there's no there's no way to even explain what happened in the battle like buggy leveled up metal Ruz leveled up he had the the guy there I, you don't even know the before the gym battle we had to herd wulu and this is so dumb i can't go back because i saved the game i'm so <laughs> upset you guys don't even begin to understand all of that footage just gone for no reason at all. <laughs> Even this big Pokeball guy in the way can't uh, make me feel any better. Well, he makes me feel a little better, but I just don't know what to do. Should I just continue playing? I, I guess I don't have a choice. But, like, I missed so, so much from all that. But I can't go back. I genuinely can't. I saved the game. Let me try. Let me just see where this puts me. I'm positive I saved the game, but in the off chance, the ever most insignificant off chance that I didn't save the game, and I'm in front of the 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 battle with him, then I will redo that at least, but I'm positive I saved afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll just have to take my word for it. Uh, before before we could get into the like can I get back in here to at least see to at least show what happened please please you guys cannot do this I've come up with an idea for what I'm going to do for this part I'm going to narrate what happened using uh, hand-drawn images in Microsoft Paint Alright, so I'm gonna be doing this from memory. It's been a few days, like five, since this event happened, so my memory's a little foggy, but I'm going to do the best I can. By the way, I realized in this time, this five days, that the audio that I... that should have been going into the capture card didn't, so for the next four episodes, we'll be reverting to, once again, having to use uh, background uh, audio and not the music that we should be hearing, so... I apologize for that as well, but let's not get into any more time wasting. Let's get into this uh, magnificent artwork I'm about to provide for you guys. So, uh, where we left off, uh, me and me and uh, Yamper, good boy, were uh, walking along, uh, you know, the path this way to uh, see to to find. Um, What's your name? Uh, what is your name? Sonia. And on our way there, uh, you know, there are like so many different forks, uh, you know, in the way, in the path. Uh, like this is the path. This is this is me. Uh, this is me, Andy. Got my hair. Uh, you know, and you could go like this way and this way, this way. They were, I, I think, they were just like items. Uh, scattered throughout in some of these, uh, you know, separate ways, but on the main path, that eventually led to Sonia. Well, it, it was like this, and then it led to this big open area, whereas, like I said, the other areas were, like, enclosed, uh, you know, cut off. There was, like, stones, and, uh, there was, there was a little girl somewhere, I think she was in here, actually, she said... Something to the effect of, like, if you look, uh, in the, uh, the, those places, um, that I just mentioned with the, you know, the cutoff areas, there will be, it, it's like hidden, but you can find, like, a buried treasure of the town, and I did not have any idea like what she was talking about so I just went back to 
uh, what I was supposed to be doing in this big big area that I came into so there was that girl there's a thing over here um, with a hole in it like a cutout and like a design here you know the thing where you can stand behind it and uh, you know get your picture taken there's a another little kid over here I think there were an elderly couple over here like some tourists or something um, and uh, I I was you know exploring everything because I'm the go that's what I do I explore everything and uh, we use a, a different perspective here's the elderly couple uh, make them nice and uh, small <laughs> and uh, okay here's here's me got, got my hair well in the playthrough I'm blind but you know how it is and over here finally I ran into Sonia and I'll put Yamper here. I don't remember if Yamper was here or not, but he is in this drawing. Now, here's, like, where we were. Like, it was enclosed. But if you looked off into the distance this way, there was, you know, this huge open, like, field with, uh, like, I, I don't know what if it was grass or whatever, but, like, within the grass, there are these giant geolithic not structures but like uh, carvings like in the grass or whatever what rock I don't remember like I don't even know how to word it but like carved into the earth was giant like drawings I don't remember what the drawings were they didn't look very alien-esque like they do uh, in their real life counterparts but there was there's a lot of like stuff and it looked really cool and stuff uh, I don't know why this is here uh, as of now, but Sonia brought me here, wanted me to see it. Uh, Sonia probably explained something to me here, but, like, I don't remember what it was, but, uh, it was, uh, for some reason we had to do this before we could, uh, you know, advance to take on Milo, but eventually I did, so I did the thing, and, uh, that was that, so I was able to leave and go back to the town the town that's me right here there I am and there was nothing left to do in the town but to take on the gym so I uh, uh those kids or whatever who were in front of the gym which I don't even think I showed cause I'm pretty sure yeah I'm pretty sure that got cut out but before I could enter the gym, there were these two kids like in line in front of the gym uh, because there were so many challengers that there was actually a line outside and I, I commented on this, I remember this now, commenting it, you know, if there was a line, you know, that long that they were extending outside of the gym, then that like two minute trip that I took to see Sonia would not have uh, been enough time for the, uh, the gym to you know, lose all of those challengers, but lo and behold, that's what happened by the time I got back to the gym after that Sonia stuff, uh, the gym was empty, which meant it was time for me to, uh, challenge it, so, yeah. So, immediately upon stepping inside, um, well, you saw the interior of the gym, but, uh, Aside from that, there was this girl, like, blocking the door, and, uh, you know, once, once everything's cleared, well, first of all, you have to put on a gym uniform, which, uh, you know, I, I did, because, uh, I didn't buy one those episodes ago, but they did give you one, I, it's the, uh, standard uniform, I wore it for the, uh, opening ceremony, I don't remember what it looks like, so I'm just gonna do that, there's the uniform. <laughs> So we put that on, and then we can enter the, uh, area. First time entering, a, a gym, and she explained that there was a gym challenge. I forget how she worded it, but basically there was this obstacle that you had to do before taking on the gym leader so before I could take on Milo I had to do this which would then 
if I completed that, then and only then would I be allowed to uh, take on the actual gym challenge. So, the, I think they called it the mission or something, I don't remember. But anyway, that mission was actually... <laughs> I'm actually gonna spend time on this. I'm sure you can tell what it is. <laughs> it was hurting Lulu. We we had to um we had to uh yeah it was so weird. You had to oh no <laughs> we had to um yeah, like I said, you had to herd Wooloo into uh, areas that, well, y you you get the point. We had to herd Wooloo. No, no, we'll we'll make it we'll per perfect it because Wooloo. We had to. Let, let me. I can't multitask. There we go. Nice, nice Wooloo. <laughs> we had to. We had to herd a bunch of Wooloo, like twenty or so. Uh, this is me. Uh, we had to, we had to herd the Wooloo into, a, a goal. Uh, we, we just had to, like, guide them into the goal through some obstacles, like, there are some pillars in the way and stuff, but nothing really, you know, if you walk in front of the, the Wooloo, they'll just, they'll go, like, straight ahead of you, so basically you just had to guide them forward. They were three or four levels of this. Uh, the first one being pretty easy. The second one introduced a new mechanic. Uh, in addition to the the obstacles, like the pillars and stuff, there's a, uh, a good boy, a yamper, running around that uh, distracted the Wooloo. So you had to, like, guide the Wooloo in a way that uh, either dodged the, the, the yampers or re regroup, retrack, and you know get whatever ones uh, were scared off by the uh, yampers. So that was that for the second level. The third level, or maybe it was also the second. Anyway, there was uh, eventually a a trainer. Uh, just you know, I didn't think there would be trainers in this, but yeah, this is where we battle other trainers. So yeah, we actually encountered a. A trainer in this part of the challenge so we uh, uh while hurting wulu i fought a uh a trainer defeated him pretty effortlessly because you know how it is and then for the third uh again it was another another one with a bunch of pillars and stuff i think there was a few trainers as well i don't remember yamper being in this one so it was a pretty 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 straightforward uh challenge and then there was one more with uh, like two yampers uh three paths uh with some pillars and stuff and i think two trainers here and here if i'm not mistaken i i remember i somehow dodged this trainer near because this trainer was like right near the goal so i somehow dodged her uh, i fought this trainer and uh I, I think I I think some of the yampers got some of my wooloo, so I had to go back and uh, re re get some of my uh, my old ones. But eventually, I got all the all the wooloo's in. Uh, went up to the uh, trainer that I missed and uh, challenged her just out of uh, you know arrogance, I guess, and uh, defeated her as well. So there was only. One thing left to remain, I completed the challenge, and now it was time to take on the gym leader, Milo, so we can find Otis. So the battle begins, and there's this, like, this pretty cool, uh, like, opening cutscene with, like, there's this uh, circle on the floor. He walks this way. I walk this way, and it's just real cinematic uh, in the way it you know presents um, us meeting. But we do meet, and we do uh, we do battle. Milo, Otis, and yeah, we have a battle. Um, I during that challenge when I was battling the trains and stuff, I 
battled pretty much with uh, Meowth. Um, a, a few others as well, but mostly Meowth just to get experience for it. I didn't think the grass types uh, that people used would be too much of a threat to Meowth, and they weren't, so Meowth got some experience. But for this, I knew it was time <laughs> for Buggy <laughs> to, uh, to shine. I didn't use Buggy at all during the challenge, but now it was time for Buggy to uh, put in some work, and uh, that's exactly exactly what he did. Um, I forget Milo, er, yeah, Milo's first Pokemon. I think it was uh, that uh, wannabe Flabebe, uh, Galissifleur. Yeah, I think that was his first Mon, and uh, Buggy just uh, flame wheeled all right over that thing and uh, <laughs> bopped it. You know, I think I don't think I would it, but it didn't do much damage in return, so. It uh, took that out pretty effortlessly. Then his second Mon, I cannot remember what it was, but I do know that uh, Buggy, again, took it out pretty effortlessly. So it was just Buggy versus his final big bad. But we were ready. So he sends it out, and it's... Galissifleur's evolved form that I forget the name of, but it was this big, like, ball thing with the eyes, and it looked real menacing, and, uh, he, there was this, th this cutscene, like, while it was happening, Milo was like, <laughs> I got a big ball here, and I'm going to Dynamax. <laughs> And uh, I was like, oh dear, it's happening. Because <laughs> it, it was happening. He really was about Dynamax. He sent out that Mon and it grew. Like, it was huge. Like, nope. Uh, like, this is Buggy. <laughs> and this was his Mon. Uh, it, it was pretty intimidating. But, he used his attack, which was some grass... Uh, big grass attack. Um, kind kind of reminded me of uh, I already forget the grass Z move, but he used this big grass attack on uh, Buggy, but because Buggy four times resists, he uh, he didn't take much damage at all. So Buggy, uh, there we go. Tanked. Yeah, Buggy, Buggy was not really threatened by this uh, Dynamax Mon. The thing about Dynamax, though, is that for three turns, I got to take on this big, this big guy. So, <clears throat> so you know, the first turn didn't damage me much, and uh, I fired back with a um, a flame wheel, of course. Uh, the thing about Dynamax, though, is it, like, I believe it doubles uh, the user's HP. So, I didn't do much, I, I think, no, I didn't to it KO. I, I did about 60% with uh, my Flame Wheel. Whereas he only did, like, 25, if that, with his, um, Alter Grass. Whatever it was. Yeah, his his Alter Grass attack only did like 25, whereas I did, uh, I did 40, not 60. That yeah. So wh why did I write 60? I I did 40 percent with Flame Wheel. He did 25 with Alter Grass. So I figured, uh, you know, I pretty much had it in the back. But the thing is, he actually got up the grassy terrain, which made his next attack his next big big grass do way more than uh, it did before and buggy was sad and almost died no <laughs> but again I did um I did a flame wheel knocked him down really low so we were both at about like 20 percent uh, remaining but he out fed me and uh, I was not about to stay in with Buggy again so what I did I switched to I think it was Meowth 
I don't remember. I switched to someone that could, uh, or maybe I didn't switch. Uh, ignore this. This didn't happen. I actually just, uh, healed with a super potion. Uh, because that, it brought me back to full. And then I took another, uh, however much it was, like, 40 or so percent from the uh, the altar grass so I was at about 60 percent HP uh, at the end of that turn which meant I could take another altar grass however that was three turns so the all the Dynamax was no more Dynamax was no more which meant that he reverted to the original uh, ball thing, which Buggy was, you know, it, you know, take on someone your own size. They're definitely much more uh, comparable now. But Buggy still had the supreme advantage because Buggy the goat, and Buggy was able to overcome the ball thing, and. We ended up defeating Milo. Oh no. And with that, I finally got my first badge, and it was all thanks to Buggy and Wooloo and Meowth and Thwacky and Doggo and, uh,. A time pole, though time pole didn't do much, but this this was the team. I finally uh, defeated the first gym leader, Milo, and uh, got my badge. So, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. So yeah, uh, <laughs> after that, um, I, I feel a little better, but I'm still unbelievably upset. I I hope you guys, uh, I feel genuinely terrible right now. I hope it doesn't come through in my videos because I don't like to present myself that way but I genuinely feel pretty horrible right now just thinking about how much how much got cut out I'm, I'm going to try to get past it though so man it didn't even didn't even see it when I was over here talking to this guy and this girl was just in the bottom screen like taking up all the screen but then we had the same effect with the ball guy right right there so I don't know, and then these same two over here giggling, man. That, and that's that's just all one little area. We didn't even get into the what went on in the gym challenge or the gym battle itself. But hopefully the uh, the uh, drawings I do will be an adequate uh, reenactment of that. But there's little moments like this that I lost that I'm really sad about. But it is what it is. I feel really bad. I hope you guys don't mind. If you do, I understand. But if you're still watching, thank you, though I don't know how you could uh, click off after seeing this incredible art I'm about to draw, but I'm going to end the episode here. I don't know how long this will be, probably not very long at all. I know the footage got cut out at about 7 minutes, and the art stuff will probably take like 5, may maybe a little more, but this is probably going to be a very short episode. Uh, you can check, now when I save the game, you can see... Uh, this little circle with the uh, that that green thing—that's the grass badge that I won. Yeah, presumably now every time we win a badge, it'll complete this uh, like a cracked mirror uh, it resembles. And uh, what's his name here told me to go to Route Five and uh, make my way to the next uh, gym, which will be Nessa. He said that, or he said we could go to the wild area and catch up to level 25 Pokemon so we can actually take on those insanely strong uh, big encounters. Make your way across Route 5 to reach Hullbury. Yeah, we can do that. Or we could, uh, uh, I guess I can show the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the uh, geoglyphs, or yeah, geoglyphs. Just defer whatchamacallit. Um, so... Yeah, they were up here. There's this girl's. Uh, Sonia was here, her and Yamper, and we looked at this. We talked to these people. I took a 
souvenir shot of me and this this kid wants to uh take a take one when he's older and he can reach the road him there uh this girl went on a long she had like a poem of like uh something to do with these shrines like if you go through some one of them it has grass on it if you go through the next two you'll find some buried treasure i don't know what she's on about but yeah um i think i think i'll end it here like i said this is probably going to be an extremely short oh i thought she was holding a wooloo this will probably be an extremely short i mean extremely short episode but uh you know how it is sometimes I feel a little better now than I did before. Okay, so th is this the way we can go? Like, and that'll lead to uh, Route 5? Question mark? Yes, it does. Okay, so, alright. Um, we could do that, or I could actually go back and uh, do some wild area stuff. I actually don't know what I want to do. So, I'll think about it. I'll take a little break, uh, recuperate uh, mentally and emotionally from this fiasco, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave it here then, and uh, hopefully this never happens again, hopefully you guys stick around, if not, hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, this video regardless, and uh, I guess that's it, so thank you for watching, and have a good day guys.